Hi folks, Adrian here from Wargaming for Fun. Going to do an unboxing today for Bolt Action uh, from Warlord Games, and this is the Home Guard Platoon. Now, many of you out there will be thinking, Home Guard Platoon? That sounds a bit familiar, and you'd be right. The Home Guard, as it's known in Britain, was made up of people who were unable to fight, basically, in World War II, so they volunteered as best they could as like a civil defence force in case of... Um, Britain being invaded by Germany and the Axis powers in World War II. Um, this was made into a TV series um, called Dad's Army, reflecting the age of the people who often volunteered for this force. And Warlord Games have chosen the characters out of this series and made a box from it. And it is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I, um, I don't even know if you would put these on the battlefield, but they are going to look great in your cupboard. I, uh, I wouldn't want them shot. <laughs> okay, so you can see there one of the most, on the front rather, the characters from one of the most repeated TV series in British history, if not the world's history, um, Captain Mannerin and so on all the way through. Um, you've got, I don't know how well that's going to show up on that box, but I will do a close-up camera. So on the back of the box, you see the entire unit, let's try and get a bit of sh shine off there in their military garb, set up in their uniforms, and then you see the same characters set up in their civilian garb. So that's what they did in the day, and then in the church on the night, they would all get together and practice with their broom handles how to fight uh, the Nazis <laughs> in World War II. I'm laughing just because of memories of the, the TV show. Now, in the rule set, you do get, or in the box rather, you do get uh, a little bit of fluff about the characters, the way they acted and stuff like that. They've got different abilities. Uh, now pay attention, Manny in bolt action represents Cannery Marin with the usual plus three morale bonus for his rank, but his is increased to four if Sergeant Wilder is part of his command section. You know, little bits of things like that, it's like uh, Private Walker's special rule, if you read it, <laughs> five bob a piece, once per game, Walker's ability to conjure just what you need enables the entire section to get hold of enough extra ammunition to shoot twice if you've given a fire order. Because that reflects the character that he had as like a Del Boy character in the uh, TV show. Uh, uh, Lance Corporal Jones's special had to be, they don't like it up em, which was one of his catchphrases in the show, where it says, if Jones is the leader of the section, no test is ever required to charge into an assault. Not even against a tank. <laughs> Uh, whilst probably unwise, his crazy bayonet waving is positively unnerving. During any assault, the enemy spends so much time avoiding Jones's flailing weapon that their number of attacks is halved. Excellent, excellent, good thoughts. And it does say here on the front that y you know you shouldn't be playing these um, in a serious frame of mind. Um, there's no increase for the special abilities that they have in the game, but at the same time, you know they're they're the designer notes, if you like, would say that these are designed for fun, definitely. Um, and you can see, you know, you could even follow this uh, paint scheme when you painted them. Probably suggested that you do, Private Fraser. So you see them in their uniform and out of the uniform. The, the quality of the sculpts is excellent. It's um, not an e I would say it has um, a harder level of sculpting when you do actual history characters that we're all familiar with because we can spot it if it's not right whereas if you're doing generic soldiers um, as long as it looks you know Caucasian white male for a certain battalion or Afro-Caribbean for another one then you can get away with it as long as the uniform's right but these guys they're excellent I mean um, Captain Manor in there and the actor who played John LeMessure I think his name is John LeMessure Monsieur. Um, the representation they've got in his face is outstanding, excellent. So here we have the same characters in the military garb that they normally would dress in on the evening when meeting in the church to plan the defence of their town. I even like, not only does they look like the characters, but they've captured the expressions on them. That if any face definitely says we're all doomed, then that is that one. Captain Mannering with his stride in there that light out. You can almost hear the words the characters used to say in the TV show um, when you look at the miniatures. 
They look excellent, they do, folks. Okay, folks, I hope you found that useful, and catch you again soon.